this, this blackboard here um, has written on the top half of it one of the two most important equations in the history of science. One is Einstein's equation E equals mc squared. And the second is an equation by a physicist called Paul Dulac. This equation here is absolutely magical. There were two great theories in, in physics in the early part of the 20th, 20th century. There was Einstein's theory of special relativity or general relativity. And there was quantum theory, which was being developed by a great German physicist, Heisenberg, and so on. And <clears throat> it was believed almost impossible to unify the macro theories of Einstein and the macro theories of quantum um, physics. Paul Dirac, a fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge, thought about this and wrote this equation which unifies these two. And it's magical because it did that but it had properties which he never understood. Im implied in that piece of mathematics are two things, well many things. One is the existence of half the matter in the universe, which wasn't known about at that time. Dark matter, dark energy. Half our universe is composed of invisible dark energy. And the first sight of that was in this equation. It was only confirmed and proved many years later but his equation predicts that. Secondly, at the time that he wrote it, only about 20, 30 of the particles in the universe were known. This equation predicts the presence of something like a hundred of the hundred and whatever it is, twelve particles in the universe are predicted by this equation. Mm -hmm. So he did something extraordinary there. It's written by a, a very important um, cosmologist, Neil Turok, who came to my room after an interview. And he's got a new theory of the endless universe, which is uh, beyond string theory and is one of the latest theories in the universe. And underneath it is the signature of the man who discovered pulsars, Anthony Hewish. So this is combining Dirac, Turok, Hewish on this blackboard. And I particularly liked it in this room because this is one of the rooms where the radio astronomers worked and where they won their Nobel Prize. So many great discoveries. This is the radio which once belonged to the great physicist Paul Dirac. I was given it by John Sulston, who was a Nobel Prize winner as well and who wrote me a little note. This radio belonged to Paul Dirac and is donated in his memory by John Sulston, who used, used occasionally to repair it. <laughs>